So I want to talk to you about why college is still a good idea. Now, before we start, I want to say that college might not be a good idea for any particular person. So I get this is a debated thing, but if we're on the side that everyone should go to college or on the side that no one should, I think we're a little bit out of bounds. I'm Dr. Fred Ray Librand, and I've been to college. Went, uh, did my undergraduate work at the University of Alabama in communications and fiction writing and English literature especially. I did some time in law school, but I quit before the second year when they remove your heart. I then went to seminary at Dallas Theological Seminary, got a master's degree in Bible, and an earned doctorate in applied theology from Phoenix Seminary. And in all that education, and then seeing all of our kids educated, I want to try to pitch the case as to why college might be worthwhile, because what you want is the best thing for your kid. And you want to guide them and encourage them, and sometimes by default, we tell kids they're going to college, and we shouldn't. And by default, we tell kids they're not going to college, and we probably shouldn't do that either. Some uh, years ago, probably about three, I remember watching a PBS show, and it had Bill Gates, and it had Warren Buffett, and they were talking to a group of students at Columbia University, I recall, and it was kind of like a forum or a fireside chat or some, something like that. But they were taking questions from the audience, and somebody brought up this kind of question, and Buffett made this amazing statement. He said, I will pay for all of your educations, any of you and all of you, if you'll just give me 10% of whatever you make. And he went on to say that despite it all, we can still pretty clearly demonstrate that there's something very, very powerful about having not only a high school degree, but a college degree, at least and for sure in our culture. It's even more pronounced in other cultures. Um, I remember work I've done in Uganda, reading in the paper one time, talking about the elites. And that was not a word that we use that much in the States. But what it meant is that those who are educated... And there is something about education and vocabulary, and just as a friend of mine, uh, Tom Beard, used to say, just about the fact that you endured and completed the curriculum already tells you something about the individual that they are able to see through to the end of a project. So here's really what I want you to do, is think about not college in terms of technical career, and I'm going to talk about this in another blog. But think about college in terms of what is this child made for? And would college be a benefit? Is there a way in which getting to wrestle through ideas or learning more about a particular subject would really advance the ball for this child? And in particular, I'd say it this way. Do they have more options once they're out of college than before? And, and if the answer is not really, then they might want to get on with the business of working and start saving because that five, four, year, six year advantage of just putting money socked away towards uh, retirement can multiply in dramatic ways. But by the same token, if one's ability to earn and think and learn uh, and teach others is really multiplied by the college experience, then it's worth it, quite frankly. And in another time, maybe we'll talk about why all colleges are not created equal. And so the nature and the quality of the school you get in can really affect things in a lot of ways. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time.